In this video, we will use the Auto Label Pipeline to more efficiently label reconstructed 3D markers in Motive. This take includes two actors crouching and rolling markers across the floor. Since the actors are never in well trackable poses throughout the take, Motive will struggle to auto label the markers. Let's try reconstructing and auto labeling the take. You can see that none of the skeleton markers are getting labeled. Since the auto labeler didn't work this time, we'll give it some help by manually labeling some of the markers. Go to the labeling pane and select a skeleton that you want to label. Let's first try labeling the four waste markers since they are the key markers for the skeleton solve. Examine the reconstructed markers and identify the waste of the skeleton. Then, label the waste markers using the labeling pane. Switch to quick label mode by pressing D and label the markers. As you assign each label, you can see that the skeleton model snaps to the markers. For better visibility, let's hide the skeleton model and leave only the marker sticks on. Now that we have manually labeled these markers, we will run only the auto labeler from the labeling pane. This time, the auto labeler has better labeled the skeleton markers, however it seems like the lower body markers have been incorrectly labeled. We can fix this by labeling more markers and running the auto labeler again. First, you'll need to unlabel all of the lower body markers from the labeling pane. This step is necessary because the auto labeler respects any existing labels and does not overwrite them. Now, manually label some of the lower body markers. We will label knee and ankle markers because these joint markers are important to the lower body solve. Again switch to quick label mode and start labeling the markers. When a marker is mislabeled, it will be obvious by looking at the marker sticks. Here I'm going to be labeling the left knee out, left ankle out, the right knee out, and the right ankle out. After labeling these markers, let's run the auto labeler again. This time, it seems like all the skeleton markers have been properly labeled. The marker sticks look good, and the corresponding skeleton model tracks fine as well. Play back the take and examine the skeleton tracking one more time, and label any remaining unlabeled markers. The right toe marker still has some gaps, so let's fill those in. Now all of the markers have been labeled and the skeleton is tracking well. Utilizing the auto labeler in this way can save a lot of time manually labeling each individual marker. Thank you for watching the video and please check out our other tutorial videos.